Welcome to the Grants Portal How-To Video Series, presented by FEMA's Training Design and Development section. This video will walk through how to respond to a request for information, or RFI, in Grants Portal as an applicant. First, we will view an example of a notification email from Grants Portal. When the RFI is issued, you will receive an automated message from Grants Portal via email. That email will look something like this. It will be sent from support.pagrants at fema.gov and have a subject line similar to this one with the notification type, the project number, the applicant name and FEMA ID, and the disaster. It will list the RFI details and provide a deadline and contact information for the RFI issuer. You can respond to the RFI in Grants Portal. Now we will locate and respond to an RFI. After logging into Grants Portal, there are a couple of ways that you can locate RFIs. If you have an RFI pending applicant response, you should have a task indicated by a number next to the bell in the upper right corner of the page. Clicking on this task bell will take you to a list of incomplete tasks. Here, one of our tasks has the type Applicant Provide Project RFI Response, with more specific details about the task provided in the description. You can view the RFI from here by clicking the Review button on the left side of the entry. You can also navigate to a list of your RFIs using the navigation pane. Open My Tasks and select RFIs. This will take you to a page with a list of your RFIs. Currently, we see one RFI with the status Pending Applicant Response. You can access the RFI from here by clicking on the magnifying glass at the left side of the entry. This takes us to the Request for Information page. In order to submit an RFI response, we must either upload documents or provide a response for each line item. The yellow banner at the top of the page lets us know the current status of the RFI and what we need to do next. Currently, the RFI is pending applicant response, and we need to provide some additional information or clarification within a set number of days of receipt of the request. The general information area includes a unique RFI number, a deadline for response, the current status of the RFI, and some identifying information about the project. If additional information has been provided, it will be included here under additional information. In the line items area, the RFI will include one or more line items requesting specific types of information. Each line item will include the type of information being requested and a reason. Review the Reason field for a description of what is being requested. To reply to a line item, you can use the Upload Line Document and Record Line Responses buttons in the Line Items header, or select an action from the Options menu at the left side of each line item. Let's respond to the first line item via the Options menu. The first line item is requesting a specific document. From the Options menu, I will select Upload RFI Line Document. If I wanted to record a line response in the form of a comment, I would select Record RFI Line Response. Selecting Upload RFI Line Document will open a dialog box that will prompt you to select a file to upload. You can drag and drop a file into this area or click to navigate to the file. You may need to designate the category of the document before you can upload it. You can do this using the Edit button on the left side of the entry. In this case, the category is Contract Documents. Click the Save button to save your edit. When your document is ready to upload, Click the Upload Pending Documents button in the lower right corner of the dialog box. 
After the document has been successfully uploaded, it will appear in the Documents area of the page. You can also respond by recording a narrative line response or add a line response to accompany a document. For our second line item, we will respond using a line response that provides the requested information. This time, I will use the Record Line Response button on the right side of the line item's header. Using the buttons in the header will open a dialog box that prompts you to select which line item you're responding to from a drop down menu. You can type directly into the response field or copy and paste from another source. Click Save to record the response. If needed, you can edit or remove the line responses from the options menu on the left side of the entry. You can provide multiple documents and responses to meet the RFI line item requirements if needed. If the requested document is unavailable, you can record a line response to explain why. You can view all of the documents that have been uploaded to this RFI in the Documents area. You can also upload documents directly to the Documents area using the Upload Line Document button in the Documents header. And you can download, edit, or remove documents that have already been uploaded using the Options menu on the left side of each entry. Now that we have responded to each line item in the RFI, we are able to submit the RFI using the Submit RFI Response button on the upper right corner of the page. A dialog box will appear, prompting you to confirm that you want to submit the RFI response. If you need to provide additional information, you can enter that here. Click Submit RFI Response in the lower right corner of the dialog box to submit. The blue banner at the top of the RFI page displays the status of the RFI. This RFI is now pending field verification. Now, let's create a tile for our dashboard. A convenient way to monitor for pending RFIs without having to navigate to them from the navigation pane or the task bell is to create a tile on your dashboard. To create a tile for this purpose, we will return to the RFIs page via the navigation pane. To create a tile for your RFIs that are pending applicant response, first confirm that you have the filter My Pending Applicant Response selected in the drop down to the left of the Run Query button. If you've created other saved filters, they will also appear in this list. By clicking on the filter header, you can see which filter options are currently being used. Click the star to the right of the buttons in the filter header. This will add a tile to your dashboard. Return to the dashboard by clicking on Dashboard in the navigation pane. We now have a tile on our dashboard that shows the number of RFIs that are currently pending applicant response. Clicking on the tile on the dashboard will take you directly to the list of RFIs. This concludes our demonstration of locating and responding to an RFI in Grants Portal. Please be aware that if you are working with any documents used for a FEMA grant, you are responsible for safeguarding personally identifiable information, or PII. PII refers to anything that can be used to directly or indirectly identify an individual. Some examples of sensitive PII are addresses, social security numbers, and financial account information. This type of information must not be uploaded into Grants Portal or Grants Manager. To report corruption, waste, fraud, abuse, mismanagement, and or misconduct, contact the Department of Homeland Security Office of Inspector General by phone at 1-800-323-8603 or via the website or mailing address listed on the screen. Procurement requirements are among the most complicated parts of the PA grant process, and non-compliance can result in deobligation of funds. Please make sure that you are following FEMA's procurement guidance for recipients and subrecipients. The Procurement Disaster Assistance Team, or PDAT, offers some training and tools on their website. Federal requirements for procurement and contracting are described in 2 CFR Part 200. 
For technical assistance with Grants Portal or Grants Manager, you can call the PA Grants Portal Grants Manager hotline at 866-337-8448. National hours of operation are 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday. The hotline can also be reached by email at fema-recovery-pa-grants at fema.dhs.gov. We have many recorded webinars and tutorial videos available on our YouTube channel. You can find them by searching YouTube for FEMA Grants Portal or via the Support Center in Grants Portal or Grants Manager.